everyone welcome back to my channel and man it feels so good to be back I know it feels like a while since I posted a video but I am so happy to be back and I'm coming at you today with another episode of my Spotlight Saturday series. In this series, I discuss things, products that I just, you know, been loving or haven't been loving. Whether or not I've been loving it, it gets the spotlight shown on it in this series. So this episode, I've got quite a bit of items to show you. Let's just get started. First, I'm going to start out with Bath & Body products and I have got to talk about this product. It is I Love Candy Corn from Philosophy. This is the um, shower gel. I love this stuff actually. It's been a staple of mine for the past couple of years. It smells just like candy corn and it always gets me in the mood for Halloween. This scent is very, very sweet. So if you're into the sweet kind of candy-like scents, this is definitely right up your alley. I love it. I'm going to smell it right now. Oh, my salt, straight up candy corn. Next up, I have a perfume that I have been in love with, absolutely in love with for, I think about a decade, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think about a decade, but it is Michael by Michael Kors. Oh my soul, ladies, this is like, tuberose gone nuts and I love the smell of tuberose because it is a floral scent but it's not too florally it doesn't have too much of a musk or you know kind of that spicy undertone it really doesn't have that it's just nice light fresh and sweet but not really I can't really describe it if you know the scent of tuberose then you know what I'm talking about I only wear it however um, during the fall and the winter I don't really wear this too much in the spring and the summer because the heat can really draw out that tuberose scent a lot especially if you spray it directly on your skin or even on your clothes the heat just the heat and tuberose just don't go together y'all okay all right sticking with Bath and Body products um, I have to talk about a couple of items from Bath and Body Works and the first is the Scarlet pumpkin scented antibacterial foaming hand wash oh my soul okay first of all y'all know from a prior video right I freaking love fall for so many reasons but pumpkins 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 okay anything pumpkin all right I'm, I'm talking about pumpkin candy I'm talking about pumpkin pie pumpkin loaf pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks y'all know what I'm talking about Pumpkin. This scent right here, oh, it smells just like a freshly baked pumpkin pie. It's so mouthwatering. Every time I wash my hands and I use this, I want to eat my hands. It, is that bad? Giving it up to Bath and Body Works yet again. This is a first time product for me. I just started using this uh, within this past month. This is Heirloom Pear. This is their mason jar candle. And this puppy has quite an impressive burn time on it. When I picked it up from my local Bath and Body Works, the store clerk there told me that these actually burn slower than their three wick candles. I don't know whether or not it's because of the fact that it only has one wick in it or whether or not there's a special formula to the wax or whatever, but it really does burn slow. This particular scent, Heirloom Pear, is so nice, crisp, and fresh. It smells just like pears. It smells like fresh pears, not Del Monte or Dole pears in the can. I'm talking about you're in a pear orchard you just pick that stuff right on off of the tree and you put it in the basket you took it home you washed it off and that pear scent is just kind of drifting up toward your nostrils from the country kitchen sink do you know what I'm talking about you have that in your mind open up your third eye you can see it you can see what I'm talking about right Next up is a hair product that I've been feeling. Now, as you guys probably have noticed, I have changed my hairstyle. And this is what I usually do in the fall and winter. I go from natural curls to a little bit more of a straightened look. I just basically take a blow dryer and a flat iron to my hair. But when my hair is straight, um, styling products like mousses and gels aren't going to work for me. Um, I don't wear my hair pinned straight. As you can tell, there's always some sort of body or some sort of wave or curl to it. And to hold that curl, I have been really, really loving the L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. This puppy right here, man, you want to talk about a touchable hold. I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it loads of times before because so many people on YouTube have talked about it. And it is definitely for good reason. This stuff actually works. You spray it on, you you brush your hair through or you rake it through with your fingers and you're good to go. The only downside 
about this particular product is I can't use it on my hair when my hair is in its natural state because when my hair is in its natural state it's like ringlet curls and I do what's called a wet set where I wash and condition it slap in a mousse or a gel and then just let it air dry well if I traded in that mousse or gel for this hairspray it would get all nasty and tacky it'll freeze up like I don't know whether or not it's because of the combination of this plus water in my hair but it freezes up and gets really really like sticky tacky and frizzy it makes my hair really frizzy and it's just so disgusting but in the fall and the winter it works beautifully because it my hair is straight and it holds a straight curl if if that makes any sense a straight curl anyway but yeah love this product if you haven't tried it i highly recommend it all right so getting on to the beauty products the first product i am going to show you is a set of eyelashes this is from elf cosmetics i found this pretty little set at my local target store it actually comes with a set of the full band lashes here and then down here is a set of half lashes just the outer edges these particular um two packs I really like these for the demi lashes that I have on my eyes today. They're so easy to use. I use the um, Revlon lash glue with them because the little lash glue that comes in here just ain't worth the crap. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it ain't worth it. The lashes themselves are really, really good. And I think this retailed for $2.99 or $3.99 at Target. Unfortunately, as much as I love them, they are limited edition. They are only being sold at Target. So if you're interested in these, Go on out to your local Target store and stock up because, you know, when they're gone, they're gone. This next eye product that I have to share is something that I didn't really get into until after having it for quite a while. And it's the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I got this in my, uh, it's a little trial size version. I got it in uh, the package with my Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And I really, really, really do like this product. I have been a Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance and MAC Paint Pot type of girl. You know, even the, the Maybelline color tattoos, I've been using them as eye primers as well. This one, um, I see why they call it behind the scenes. It doesn't really have too much of a standout color. And when you put it on your eyelid, it just feels like silk. You know, there's no extra color from it whatsoever. It's not going to change the color or the finish of any powder eyeshadow that you put on top of it. And you know, when I'm dealing with eyeshadows that are really, really pigmented or already very frosty on their own and I don't wanna add any extra foil finish, this is a really good product to go to. And speaking of eyeshadows, I have got to mention this eyeshadow, especially since I have really been feeling it over the past month. It is spot on trend with uh, the fall 2013 eye look. It is the Color Icon eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in the color Penny. And here's a swatch of it on the back of my hand. It is a beautiful color. It looks like a shiny new penny. It's a beautiful copper, kind of like a light copper color, and it's really good for that single wash of color all over the lid, which is so on trend this fall for the eye look. You just throw this copper color all over your lid, line your eyes, throw on some mascara, maybe some falsies, and you're good to go. All right, y'all, we're going to move right along to lip products, and the first product that I have to show you is Ferguson Crest Cabernet lipstick from the Fergie line at Wet n Wild. It's just so gorgeous. It is a plummy port wine color and it is so fully saturated, so highly pigmented. It does dry down to somewhat of a um, semi-matte or a satin finish, which I absolutely love. So here is a swatch of Ferguson Crest Cabernet on the back of my hand. It is an absolutely stunning color it's that perfect bold berry port winey type of a lip that is so on trend for this season i love it i've been dogging mine out y'all i'm gonna be honest i think i need a new tube and the last lip product is this thousand kisses lasting finish lip pencil from rimmel in the color indian pink i love this color it is just the perfect pink for darker deeper skin tones this is the color i actually have on my lips right now and um, I love it. I just actually, I don't just use it as a lip liner. I actually fill in my lips and wear it as a full on lip color. The only downside to this, at least for me in my area, I, it's so hard to find this color. Like I have seen all of the other Rimmel lip liners from this particular line, but I have not seen this color. I found it once on a whim at a local Rite Aid. And then after that, 
I haven't been able to find it. And I know I'm gonna go through this little pencil real quick, especially since I use it as a full on lip color. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can find it again um, because I love this color. It is just a perfect pink. And moving right along to face products. Right here, I've got Cabana Boy from The Bomb Cosmetics. I featured this blush in a prior video. I mean, it's so flippin' gorgeous. It is a beautiful, kind of plummy pink type of color and very, very flattering on a lot of different skin tones. It is a satin blush, so there is no shimmer to it or no chunky glitter or anything like that. It has a nice smooth satin finish. It does leave a little bit of a highlighted sheen, but not too obvious. You're not gonna walk around looking like you done slapped Vaseline all over your cheeks. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Love this color. I think it's just super gorgeous. Next up, I've got this Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection Shimmer Palette in the color Rose Golden Goddess. It is a gorgeous rose gold color and depending on your skin tone, you may use this as a highlighter or a full on blush. It has the perfect amount of gold undertone so it's not gonna come off looking ashy on darker skin and I love that about this product. I also love the fact that it doesn't have any chunky glitter in it whatsoever. It doesn't even have small reflexive glitter. It's just a nice highlight, just a sheen, you know, and it's very natural looking without being natural. I mean, come on, sometimes we got a fake nature, right? Next face product is actually a tool that I have been really, really feeling this past month and it is definitely the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. It is super duper soft. I love the way it's shaped. It's wide this way and then it's skinny that way so it's easy to kind of get in the smaller regions of the face, but um, very, very densely packed. I love using this with my liquid foundation. It buffs the foundation in so beautifully. It's just perfect and it's really, really quick. Gets the job done. Not too big, not too small. I can't really say much else about it. If you haven't tried it out, do yourself a salad, check it out. And last but certainly not least, the coup de grace. NARS, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have mentioned this concealer before in prior videos. I can't say enough good things about this. I really, really can't. This stuff is fan freaking tastic okay? fan freaking tastic It comes in a wide variety of shades from the lightest of the light to the deepest of the deep and everything in between. In my opinion, it is the perfect combination of a liquid and cream concealer product. So not only do I use this to conceal under my eyes, but I also use it to spot treat on my face. My color is Biscuit or Medium Dark One, and just in case you're wondering. The only thing is I don't like the fact that it's so pricey, but then again, it's NARS, you know what I mean? It's a splurge product, so I do kind of use this sparingly whenever I can, but love it, love it, love it. <laughs> y'all so that is it that is everything that i have to show in this episode of spotlight saturday i hope you enjoyed it and oh yes yes i want to congratulate our two winners from our welcome to fall 2013 contest uh the first lucky winner she won the limited edition urban decay vice 2 eyeshadow palette that's a gorgeous palette by the way love it love it love it and the second lucky winner won that awesome basket full of the limited edition elf disney villains collection love that collection i was so hyped about it and i couldn't wait to give some away so congrats again to our two winners and until we meet again stay blessed Mother freaking Mercury and retrograde. Y'all know I follow astrology, okay? I follow Zodiac and all that. Y'all know that from a prior video of mine, right? Right? So yeah, whenever Mercury is in retrograde, like crap happens, <laughs> okay? I mean, if you don't check, double check and triple check, oh my soul, things can go so awry. And Mercury is going to be in retrograde until the 10th of November. And let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm going to give you an example of the ridiculousness of a Mercury retrograde. So I was trying to hurry up and leave the house, okay? I was supposed to be uh, going out and I had to get myself together. I had to get my son together. I was actually just going out to run some errands. And so in my getting ready, I forgot quite a few things. Um, I almost got all the way to the first floor of the house all the way as if my house is like super big it really ain't okay but i almost got to the first floor of my house and totally realized that i didn't put on a bra what the crap 
so I had to run back upstairs and then I finally, I get dressed, my makeup is done, my hair is done, I'm ready to run out the house. And then I realize my son is still sleeping on the second floor in his bedroom. And so I'm like, oh crap, I gotta run back up the stairs, get him, wake him up, get him dressed, feed him, and then, and then finally, I'm ready to run out the house, right? I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm already late, I gotta go. And I run out, and I get into the car, and I still have my slippers on. I forgot to put on my shoes. So finally, I ran back in the house, I put on my shoes, I got in the car, I left, I get to the spot, and realize I forgot something at home freaking mercury in retrograde.